take some all thread, cut it, cut it. Doesn't matter what size you use the middle, as long as it's dead center and you can sit there and thread on. This old piece right here, twist it on down. These two are locked together. This is gonna have to be greased here and here and here. That's okay. That's basically the coil winder. Did some welding here. If you could make one and go faster and uh, ahead of me, that's, uh, if you can go uh, ahead of me and do things, uh, feel more than free to. Sorry about that. Nasty looking welds there. <laughs> but they're worked. Anyway, so I got this way. The reason why I'm doing this right is this has to be exact. If these coils don't fit. You just wasted a bunch of wire and time. So, anyway, I got some steadier, uh, stouter material. It wouldn't last in the rain or anything and fall apart. It's just basically a bunch of cardboard all pressed together. I forget what they call that board, but it's not plywood. I'm going to use these for the two sides. I'm still going to use this uh, poplar here. I'm real glad I planed that much of it out. Okay, so I sharpened my bit, and I've got everything. As, as I turn this, I see everything is inside the lines. Now, how am I going to make sure that what happens over here is going to be exact to this where it matches up? Well, if this is where I put the points, and that's the measurement, well, we're going to flip that over and drill out here. I kind of deburred this with a pair of scissors just going around in a circle like this. But that's trivial. Okay, I said, well, why use this when I already have holes here? These ones would be my guides, and I relocated these ones. I just grind everything in between here and here and here off, and I have my piece. So anyway, I've got those ones done, and time to transfer them to this one. There we go. I've driven the center pin all the way through, and there she is on the other side. Now, drill one of these holes, transfer a peg, drill another hole, transfer a peg, and finish it up. Okay, and if you see on the edges here, you can see uh, a little bit of shadow where the edges stick up. I stick the scissors in the hole, just go around one nice little circle, deburs and cuts all of that off. Too simple, don't have to change the, don't have to change the chuck or nothing. I might as well do this one too. Won't hurt the project. Now all this will slap together. We're ready to wind some coils. Weeha! And there's my centerpiece here. Uh, for the inside of the coil. You notice no woods left on the corners because that's where the pins are going to ride. Let's slap it together and see how it looks. Okay, and there we are. All slapped together. I'll leave this on. These are double nutted for tight, and I've got this screwed up against this as hard as I can. It's also threaded because I had to force it on. I also forced this one on, not twisted these towards each other. So this really doesn't turn. I might throw a little bit of uh, JB Weld or something inside the threads and slap them back on again. But this piece here, I want to go ahead and glue that to this. I might even use uh, might even use a drywall stinger and get that tapped in there. I want this piece to stay here. This piece here I want to be able to just go ahead and screw right off and I'm going to put a wing nut here and that should take care of it. And yes, the pins do slide out. They slide out nicely. All of them. So anyway, many good things to you and yours. I'll see you on the winding table. Another thing I want to do here is this is going to be on the outside of the table. This is going to be over the table. So I want to put one more piece this way. Uh, I think I just might screw it to this desk because basically it's my choice and the top of my desk is made out of plywood. 
I can always put another layer on there if I want. Many good things to you. This right here is my wire. It's an 18 gauge, 200 degrees Celsius, double enameled, 18 gauge wire, copper. And it's set into the drill press. And to adjust the tension, you just raise the table until you get the right tension. 